straight damage oh my god this is what i like to see you know we got a hard mode boss here the dreadnought we brought out a trade of a mech like as you can see th this is getting wild hey yo everyone so we are here checking out some terraria mods that you can play while waiting for some more big mods to update especially if you're not one of those people that just only plays calamity because those people do exist but yeah let's get to it first here the mod we're checking out is a nice little mod called the amulet of many minions we all know that terraria 1.4 definitely buffed the summer a lot made it a lot better of a class but why not even make it more better of a class with this mod this is one of my favorite summoner mods as you can see we got some cool looking armor sets right here even an armor set that adds to the flinks fur coat with the flinks fur hood yeah let's just check out some of the summons here they add in a new little subclass of summons called squires which is a fun little thing to mess with you're gonna have squires whips regular summon sentries you know you got all this fun stuff to mess with when you add this mod in on top of what already terraria adds in but yeah let's go ahead let's see some of these summons here let me go ahead let me put on an armor set that gives me some more summons all right let's start with some of the regular summons boom this one the bloons monkey summon who doesn't love this let me go ahead let me zoom out a little bit here summoning some enemies and stuff and just kind of see it in action I feel like these things would definitely be effective against some balloon type enemies. But let's go on to the next one, which we go from early game to like all late game ones. <laughs> we got this one, Staff of the Celestial Slime Train. Let's see it. We're, dang, them boys is moving fast. I don't even know where they're at. We got a nice little slime train here. This is much like the uh, Stardust Dragon, but slimes on a train. Very creative. I like it. Let's go ahead. Let's pop in the King Slime here and see how it is. Ooh. Did you see that attack? That's kind of cool. How there's like, okay, stay still. It's a little hard to see with some of these bosses not staying still. But you see like the train tracks and then all the slimes start coming at them. That's pretty cool. I like that. On to the next one here. We got this one, Staff of the Sacred Sapling. This is going to be a big boy. Boom. Literally a big boy gigantic boy to be exact and as you see as i add in more summons here we kind of get like more trees for him to throw let's go ahead let's bring in i don't know i feel like we could probably bring in a hard mode boss plantera do some damage i know it's enraged but still doing great damage oh my god this uh summon right here reminds me of uh yurimir's summoner playthrough you know how he had that like that tree in the intro and in the thumbnail that's what this reminds me of a lot maybe it's based off of that i don't know i still like it either way it's cool let's go ahead let's check out the two squires now starting with this one click and hold to guide their attacks that's kind of how the squires work you kind of control the attacks a little bit it's a very unique idea i like it a lot i always like when new stuff is added to summoner so like you know you, you add anything pretty cool to summoner on top of what it already has you know you already got my heart next up we got this one here the true guide voodoo doll this one literally gives you a wall of flesh very very cool let's bring in a boss here as you saw we started with the guide and then as the guide died it turned into the wall of flesh very very cool but yeah there you go there was all the weapons that i wanted to check out i just grabbed some random ones and not really specific ones but as you can see the mod itself has a lot of goodies to check out a lot of unique things to check out here we got some accessories if you want to go ahead and read through them real quick i just grabbed some random accessories for you guys to check out just know the mod is pretty good especially if you're gonna do a summoner playthrough throw this mod in there you're gonna have a lot more fun it's gonna be a lot more unique and different on to the next mod though all right next up we are checking an underrated mod uh, they're starting to get a little bit more attention especially since it's one of the bigger mods that updated fairly quickly to 1.4 like i'm pretty sure it was updated even to the alpha of 1.4 team mod loader and as you can see it's got a good couple of bosses you can fight pre hard mode and hard mode we got some cool looking armor sets here and that is the vitality mod the vitality mod is a cool little mod nice little content mod you can play around with especially while waiting for other big mods to update and let's get right to it let's check out some of the weapons grab a bunch of random ones here we got this one the wood slingshot this one adds in a bunch of slingshots a good handful so we gotta hold left click to aim it and then we hold right click you hear the little noise and then you let go right click i miss completely what okay that time i didn't miss all right here we go. i got some stronger marbles my bad not not ball well technically glass ball but yeah i picked up some stronger ones we got the crystal ones there, there's a couple that you can get throughout the playthrough i think but pretty cool i like the idea of you know a new type of range weapon next up we got this storm rod a summoner weapon let's check it out oh so a little sentry type weapon i like the idea of this this is cool low-key kind of like the uh nimbus rods but like a little bit more effective and actually does summoner damage 
I always thought the Nimbus Rod should do summer damage along with like the Clinger Staff. There's, there's a couple of uh, weapons that are like major weapons that I think should be, uh, you know, converted into summoner. All right, next up, we got the SBMG. Shoots mechanical beetles that will chase your enemy. Has a chance to inflict Icor. Cool. Another type of B type weapon, B gun type weapon. This thing should do decent damage. I should be able to kill a boss no problem with this. Yes, sir. Next up, we got the Spectral Grenade. I'm expecting some, you know, some ghastly, some ghostly type damage some ghost type stuff there we go sending out all the you know specter bolts very nice i like that it explodes and comes back down comes around chases enemies next up we got the serpent whip this is what i like to see you know we got the new whips in 1.4 it's always nice to see when mods add in whips too very cool maybe i should summon in like a decently strong enemy just so i can really see you know the debuff and stuff on it nice and another weapon i grabbed here is this tome of elements you know cool little weapon looks cool shoots out a bunch of the elements let's see it against this guy and he ran away let's see it against these guys that run a lot slower nice and i guess quickly let's go ahead and check out what's in this next chest right here some more accessories go ahead and read through these accessories if you want because after these accessories here we're gonna go ahead and check out some of the bosses so obviously this mod adds in new bosses new enemies so you can see decent amount of stuff one of the bosses it adds in is a sky island boss space boss whatever you want to call it a nice little storm cloud boss very cool another boss it adds in is an antlion boss a big boy antlion he's honestly not that big but still very cool love me some more desert biome bosses another boss the mod adds in we got a hard mode boss here the dreadnought which you find in the underworld always like to see more love to some bosses in the underworld because i definitely feel like like once you get to the underworld in hard mode there's not really much to do here and the last boss i'm gonna show off here is the anarchist or anarchiles beetle something like that nice little beetle boss you probably fight in the jungle i just came over here to the mushroom biome just because i like this biome <laughs> but yeah there's four more bosses I'm not gonna show every single one of them not even gonna really show the fights of all of them because that's for y'all to go find out now this mod right here we've checked out a handful of times like we you know we peaked it a handful of times on the channel haven't done a full video about it might do it in the future but that is in my opinion one of the best weapon mods ever made for terraria and that's the stars above mod the stars above mod as you can see every weapon in it has got some info for you to read you know if you're allergic to reading like i am you know you might just have to suck it up and read them because these weapons is worth it so i grabbed just like a bunch of random weapons here and you know the move might as well just check them all out see how they are you know some weapons are obviously cooler than others i legit just grabbed some random ones we got this the xenoblade so when we charge up we do different attacks depending on what form i'm in my bad i'm not a xenoblader so i don't know the uh exact words for it but as you can see the color text we got smash speed shield jump buster all of them do different attacks so this yellow one which one is the yellow one that shield grants endurance when active and you gain 18 defense when holding a ready charge attack and mana drain is stopped cool as you can see the attacks also very cool very unique like i said this mod probably is one of the best weapon mods in all of terraria we go into the next one which one is that jump so we get a little feather fall with it uh i'm assuming when we charge our weapon we get feather fall with it i don't know uh, maybe because i'm flying around but yeah charge attacks will launch us forward very cool different effect with every single form and then we go to the next one which is buster charge attacks are faster with this one so you know we'll be able to spam a lot more with this one let's go into the red one smash which means our charge attacks are upgraded into a mechon's bane guaranteeing critical hit damage so as you can see it's red and then we got speed which uh disables charge attacks but our attacks are normal stronger and faster so like we can just straight up like spam pretty cool very unique obviously we got a handful of weapons to check out here a lot a lot of reading so let me let, bear with me here I'll, I'll try and speed through them fast like i might miss like the coolest feature about them we got this right here though cosmic destroyer as you can see pretty cool very cool looking let me zoom out a little let's bring in a little enemy to fight a little boss to fight oh my god king slime did not stand a chance what about plantera is this a late game sort of weapon yes sir it is and as you can see i'm kind of charging up a little bar around me i wonder what happens when we get that bar fully charged up it says once it's full right click to activate 
Magaton over Yeet. Attacks will change the next 11 shots into empowered Magaton shots and they deal more damage. Cool, cool, cool. And then we get inflicted with overheat once we run out of charge attacks. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's find another Plantera and uh, let's let's see this uh, overheat stuff or these uh, Magaton shots. Probably not saying that right. Don't really care. All right, there you go. Plantera dead and then boom, let's bring in this dude and let's right click and let's see the stronger shots. And just like that, it's kind of over. It goes by pretty quick, but we did a lot of damage with them. Very cool. On to the next one. We got this whole rot mark two. Oh my God. This is so much text. Hold left click to charge the weapon. If the weapon is fully charged, the attack varies. Let's see. Charged. Whoa. I should probably get off of my thing. So as you can see, charge it up. You know, we do this little spinning attack. And then I'm assuming if I right click. Yeah, there you go. We change forms. Blasting form exactly what you expected to do blast something next up we got the mystic form what does this do i have no idea oh well there you go it shoots a little something pretty cool if you want to go ahead and read all this go ahead pause the video check it out let's move on to the next one hollow right albion albion however the hell you pronounce this is a summon weapon holding this weapon summons melusine and arendite to circle you aiming at your cursor left click to fire from melusine right click to fire from arendite all right very cool this is definitely very unique for a weapon like i was gonna say very unique for a summer weapon not nah, very unique for a weapon period let's bring in skeletron okay bad example i, I don't know why you know make it nighttime make it nighttime so i can beat his ass with this weapon properly no you can't just make it nighttime and he's just still daytime okay that's that's a little bit annoying i'm not gonna lie bring him back in this time he has no choice but to be nighttime skeletron and let's go ahead let's just blast him a couple of left clicks and let's see a couple of right clicks okay i want to see more right clicks but yeah it also does damage when they like touch them so they got a little contact damage that's pretty cool i like that this is just a very unique weapon next up we got the stygian nymph definitely butchering these names hold left click to charge the weapon if the weapon is fully charged the attack varies okay i see that on like a lot of weapons so we got this attack right now and then i'm pretty sure oh what the heck what was that that was pretty cool yeah this attack is pretty damn unique just by itself this little swiping attack reminds me of like the Mermos, not the Mermos, the Terragrim and the Arcalis. What do I do if I got like a full bar like this and I right click? Nothing. Okay. So if I do uncharge attacks, we do something different. So we sweep in a colossal area and then charge attacks. You have multiple foes in front of you, which is okay, this red attack is a charge attack. And then we got this one. So this one is like more of an area of effect. It seems like bigger range you cover. And then this one hit something and does multiple hits to that something and then it says when conditions are met right click to activate flash of eternity dashing towards your cursor which negates some damage the first time you get hit cool this is very cool i like that all right next up we got armaments of the sky striker this puts me in a little cool armor set look at that i go from rocking my my mushroom stuff to boom cool armor so it says right click to access the aerial form selection menu and then we get four different things to select i got the red one selected which the red one is annihilation so let me go ahead let me see this in action oh okay so we got a nice little weapon with us let's go ahead let's bring in the king slime beat his ass in this form cool and let's go to the blue form which also changes my armor set so this is a defense form so our attacks turn into like a shield that we hold out cool i wonder does this do any damage like oh it does it does that's good to know because i i do want to do some damage and not just hold out a shield but i understand you know little defense form you're probably giving up damage to take less damage makes sense next up let's go into the yellow one the yellow one is close combat so our attacks are a barrage of quick close hits cool very very cool looks dope as hell let's go ahead let's see it against the king slime I'm sorry king slime you're getting beat on this episode it just has to happen man and then let's go into the fourth and final form here rail gunner attacks are changed into long range piercing bolts oh i like that the armor changes every form very nice looks cool as hell all the armors look really cool king slime i'm sorry you know what time it is bro i'm, I'm very sorry all right next up we got penthesilia's muse so right click to view all mystic pigments and i'm assuming that you know this is like previous weapons but instead of like completely new attacks i think we just inflict different debuffs is what it looks like uh do they all change color depending on what i'm using that's pretty cool i like that i like the color change but yeah there you go just swinging them you know seeing all the different colors you know let's go ahead bringing out king slime what's up bro nice little like paint splatter that happens when you hit enemies cool let's bring out like the yellow one and hit the king slime 
Nice. I like the paint splatter. Reminds me of Splatoon. <laughs> Alright, next up, we got a summon here. Casimir's Seraphim. Shout out my boy Casimir. Holding this weapon will conjure a spectral blade to orbit you, dealing contact damage. Striking foes this weapon grants stacks of radiance, and then all the stacks of radiance will count as extra damage. Cool. So I can swing the weapon regularly, and then I got the little summon hovering around me. Pretty cool. I like it. And as we do more damage, we get even more damage to do. Nice. I know this area is kind of filling up with loot, but you know, bear with me. <laughs> I hope the game bear with me and doesn't crash. All right, next up, Luminary One. Look at that. We got a little Starfy. Is that what they're called? Star Child. I don't remember what they're called. I might be right with Starfy. So holding this weapon will conjure a friendly Star Child. And it says our defense is directly added to the Star Child's contact damage. Cool. And when the Star Child does damage, there's a chance that a Star Bit will appear. If you pick up a Star Bit while holding this weapon, you will immediately fire a Star Blast at your cursor. So depending on the color of the Star Bits, depends on what like blast or what attack we do. Hold up. I got to take the encumbering stone out of my inventory. As you can see, we picked up that green one we shot out what was it we shot out a 30 percent chance to crit with the green one pick up that blue one what's the blue one do restores 10 mana cool i like it just a very unique summon and probably a very strong one since it's just a single summon all right we got our last couple weapons here let's go ahead let's check them out we got this one Cesara of despair no idea what the casera i don't know also a summon weapon holding this weapon will transform you into fey nephilim oh yeah i know fey nephilim who doesn't know fey nephilim attacks will pierce enemies and deal minion damage flight time is infinite as fey nephilim additionally three nephilim shards and the iris will surround you the shards will independently attack attack nearby foes the iris will inflict iris gaze on nearby enemies ignoring player targeting foes affected by iris gaze take more damage from all sources and allow for minions to crit nice cool let's just see it in action do i attack oh okay i, I do attack so let's bring out the king slime damn i didn't even need to really do anything all right let's bring out someone stronger the golem and let me actually attack i feel like i'm in like a spaceship just shooting beams down on enemies very cool i like this i really like how unique their summons are and boom golem dead cool shout out Fey Nephilim. All right, next up, we got Bury the Light. This weapon's attacks will slash at your cursor and ignore 100 armor. Damn, 100 armor? That's honestly pretty crazy. Let me bring out the golem this time. You see, we're doing a lot more damage. That armor being ignored, you know, definitely makes a difference. So once the Judgment Gauge has reached maximum, right-click to unleash Judgment Cut. Let's see Judgment Cut in action. King Slime. Now that was sick as hell. <laughs> that was sick as hell. I was wondering where it was going at first, but then it exploded and then it's like, whoa, hold up now. All right, and last but not least here, we got Architect's Luminance. This weapon is unaffected by, okay, I don't even know why I read that. Holding this weapon will equip yourself with Luminary Armament. Armament. Right click to summon Artifice Siren. Artifice Siren? Artifice Siren will obliterate nearby foes with hyperpower beams of light even when this weapon is not held. All right, well, what is left clicking? The med, the weapon swings much faster. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff that it does. We got the, the regular left click, not to mention gives me like horns. Cool. My character already has horns, but more horns are better, I guess. And then if I right click, let me bring out the Duke here. If I right click, you know, we bring out a, we bring out a, a little friend to help us out and do some more damage. This is like a Gundam we just brought out. We brought out a straight up a mech to help us. Hold up, mech boss versus mech boss. Hey, where are you going? You just gonna leave? You just gonna leave like that? But yeah, there we go. There was a bunch of weapons from the Stars Above mod. Maybe in the future we fully check it out. But as you can see, you know, there's a lot of stuff about it. Not to mention the mod also has bosses. So the mod has not only just, you know, regular, bosses in hard mode it has post hard mode bosses so let me try and just bring out one here hopefully this one boss i bring out doesn't you know break anything we got this guy the vagrant of space as you can see look like it's gonna be a tough battle looks like it's gonna be scary also looks cool as hell very unique i wonder if i could just beat him up i don't know it's looking like i just can't beat him up you know what? i'm leaving the game there's five bosses in this mod I'm barely going to show you anything because this is definitely a mod I want you guys to experience for yourself. The next boss I'm going to bring out, we've seen this dude in the past, the Warrior of Light. Got a little dialogue, got him, got him screaming out when he swings. I wonder if I could just hit him regularly. Yes, I can. Yeah, this dude's from a game. People told me in the comments last time what game he's from. Don't remember. 
But I do know he's from a game. Yeah, he's going to have a lot of cool attacks. All the bosses are from... Man, the weapons in this all have cool attacks. So, of course, the bosses are going to all have cool attacks. Like, as you can see, this, this is getting wild. This is getting absolutely wild, some of the attacks he does. Not to mention the effects that they have. Like, they're cool as hell. Like, what is this? I got to dodge that? I got to be out of God mode dodging these attacks? My boy is sending out greater than and less than symbols. But yes, sir, there you go. There's a handful of mods to check out while you're waiting for your big boy mods to update. Very fun mods. You know, we got mods in different sizes. We got this one, which is like a small, you know, addition to Summoner. Makes Summoner a lot more fun. We got this one, which is like an average size content mod. Adds in a good bit of bosses for you to fight. And then we got like a smaller size content mod that adds in crazy weapons and post Moon Lord bosses. And just very unique bosses and weapons in general. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to check out all these mods shout out all the mod developers and stuff that made these i'll see y'all next time